go. Hello, my dear students. I want to finish the experimental portion of our iron in total serial experiment before we have in the next video a brief discussion of the lab report and what my expectations are for you for um, handing in the assignment that goes with this. We saw how you, we can take a mixture of iron and cereal. We didn't know it had iron and cereal or what form that iron took. We saw that we could mix that up, take our total cereal, grind it up, make a slurry, mix it with water, and that when we were done and looked at the magnet in the magnetic stir bar, we saw that we had iron filings on the stir bar. But I only have two magnetic stir plates, I actually have three, another power one that we can plug in, and I've got as many as 10 or 12 um, students or groups of students doing this experiment. So some of you also put your slurry into a baggie and we gave you magnets. I have some neodymium magnets. This is not one, but I think it'll still work. And we have some, a neodymium magnet I taped to this bar. And the question is, you know, after they sat with this slurry and I've mixed this slurry around in here, what has happened to these? So let me show you what has happened to these. These magnets are sticking to one another here, but if you look around this neodymium magnet, you will see a circle of black and this other magnet is hidden behind the label. I didn't place it very well. But one thing I'm going to do now is go dump this slurry out and rinse the bag out to see if we can look at that a little better. Let's go over to the sink. come over here we'll put it under the light we can't use the camera to look through our binocular microscope but when you're in the classroom we can do that I'm going to cut open this bag with my scissors I didn't put my lab coat on tonight mm -hmm. my scissors in my hand zoom in on these iron filings with some illumination. So, come on over here, everybody, and my camera, and I'm going to cut the bag open. So that we can observe the bag next to the magnet. And if you look, and if you don't mind, I'll take off my face shield and put on my glasses so that I can see. You will see around here all kinds of iron. And you might say, well, that's just black marks. But if you look carefully and we continue to focus on this, I'll go ahead and remove the magnet from the bag. <sighs> this 
neonium dimmium magnets are hyper attracted to any ferrous source. But if I remove this magnet and this tape, can you zoom in on that for me, please? You will see iron. I'm going to go ahead and touch it with my finger. And here you can see my finger picking up those iron filings that were attracted to the magnet. Mm -hmm. And particularly so in this portion of the bag where I'm about to remove it. The neo neodymium magnet is attracting iron to this region of the bag. It may not look so good black on black, but here is the magnet, magnetic particles that were attracted. And if you look, if I take my magnet, there's my magnet, and I move it even close to that, you can see it all jumping up onto the magnet as I bring the magnet close to those filings. Here, let me see if we can capture that as I bring it close to those filings. And so, those of you who are treating the slurry in the bag with a magnet will find iron filings in your total cereal that account for their claim that's 100% of the daily allowance of vitamins. That concludes our experiment, and I will see you in the next one as we discuss your lab report. Goodbye now.